it was birthed out of prayer. Its guiding principles are found in the scriptures. It was established as a global discussion forum, a support network and a prayer group for people in business and various professions. And the Global Business Roundtable has a God-given mission to focus on the holistic development of a person in line with God's plan for his kingdom. We put God first and we are genuine pursuing the knowledge and the love of God. It's centered around, you know, faith, but it's not necessarily church. It's time that we interrogate these issues and bring solutions to the troubled world. Lorsque j'ai écouté, je me suis rendu compte que c'était ce en fait à quoi j'aspirais depuis longtemps. J'ai à cœur l'Afrique depuis des années, le développement de l'Afrique, l'émergence de l'Afrique, le réveil de l'Afrique. The aim is to help members to grow spiritually, to grow intellectually, to grow their networks and participate in trade and investment opportunities, to participate in mentorship and coaching programs, and to expand their businesses. Back when I didn't know Global Business Roundtable, I was just relaxed. Like I, I didn't feel the need to learn more about uh, foreign markets, you know, investing in other countries. It is a platform that is helping people go back to their original state. And the original state was to dominate the earth and make it a better place. Through GBR, we are taught how to connect. We are taught about discipline, taught about leadership, taught about business, taught even about mining. Since its launch in Johannesburg in 2009, the Global Business Roundtable has impacted on hundreds of lives around the world. Its vision is to have a presence in 200 countries by 2020. Vision 2020 propels us, it becomes our roadmap as future leaders. We're really wanting to see expansion into countries, into universities, into prisons, into all sectors. 2020 will mark the 10th year of GBR. And it needs that all the infrastructure, the structuration, whether it's on the level of countries, on the level of regions, on the level of continents, be effective for that the resources are allocated, for that all the process can be effective. Eight years after its launch, this God-focused organization has a presence in more than 70 countries in the following regions. The Southern African Development Community. Here is a vehicle that can be used to make sure that when people say Africa is the next best thing, it's the next best thing for Africans. East Africa. We have undertaken to be the vision carriers of Global Business Roundtable in East Africa by appreciating that it's a kingdom mandate that God has given for a very clear reason to liberate this generation. West Africa. I see GBR going to places. I see GBR in Nigeria capturing the young and the old. Central Africa. Le uh, Gabon est un pays émergent. GBR et GFC est le bienvenu parce que à, à, à travers de cette de ce grand instrument que GBR et GFC Nous pensons que ça va booster l'économie du pays et GFC apportera un succès, un réel succès dans le pays. Le GBR, c'est un esprit d'ouverture, c'est l'esprit de, de l'amour, c'est l'esprit de, de, de fraternité. Europe. Je suis très surpris, positivement surpris, à la taille et la reach de GBR et de sa capacité de communicate and to federate so many people around the table. And North America. It may have started local, but now it's global. And, and I think it's a, a wonderful opportunity for men and women everywhere. GBR is like God's gift to man. I believe that this will transform the GBR and give this platform to reach countries, the nations that want this transformation for an impact on social, on education, on security and a question of the kingdom because the kingdom of God is all of these things. The GBR Academy was established primarily to address leadership capacity within the Global Business Roundtable leadership structures. The course aims to harness the diverse minds, skills and experts in the room to enrich the learning experience, 
The Leadership Academy is made up of 11 core chapters that address topics ranging from personal mastery and emotional intelligence to GBR strategic objectives, vision, mission and mandate, as well as general management competencies such as corporate governance, ethics, people management, finance and project management. GBR's vision is to also influence the world of tomorrow by reaching out to the next generation of leaders. The Future Leaders program was launched in 2010 to reach young professionals, young entrepreneurs and students. Under the Future Leaders program, Global Business Roundtable has established students' chapters in more than 70 universities and tertiary institutions all over Africa. In the Global Business Roundtable, GBR, designed to tackle issues affecting men and to foster brotherhood amongst the males of the organization. The objectives of Men of Integrity are to create a safe space for dialogues, a space where men can gather and freely speak about what concerns men, to improve the quality of life for men, to help men and boys to get help, to promote fatherhood as well as positive male role models, to strengthen the vision of GBR, to create an opportunity for men to have fun through recreation and sports. GBR understands that a woman's purpose is about having a clear sense of what God has called her to be and that this is by divine prerogative. The GBR Women of Character is modeled by the Proverbs 31 woman and some of the things that stand out are her industriousness, her lack of idleness, her servant heart, her willingness to work and her good care of her home and of her family. The Minister's Council is a strategic component of the Global Business Roundtable comprising strictly of God-ordained men and women recognized and biblically outlined ministers, pastors, evangelists, teachers, bishops, apostles and prophets who are members of the Global Business Roundtable across the world. The ministers of the Gospels Council within GBR will work from the local chapter to the city or national and global platform to strengthen the foundations with kingdom protocol and become pillars to carry the weight of the spiritual matters in prayers, cutting-edge prophetic counsels, walls of spiritual defense, standing for the mandate of GBR to flourish in their territories as spiritual elders at the gates of those nations. The GBR platform is an integrated online system that seeks to bring together all members of GBR across the globe to create opportunities for personal and professional development. It is poised to further facilitate trade and investment opportunities across nations and industries for big business as well as drive procurement opportunities for SMEs and individuals. It has a central database that is segmented according to member interests at a global, national and local level. The GBR platform is such a great tool. It links back to the question of Vision 2020. Because if we are to create business people, the question is what are they going to trade? How are they going to leverage this global nature of GBR? The GBR platform breaks those barriers. It says you can sell to people in Nigeria, in Gambia, in Sweden, from Zimbabwe. The GBR platform is made up of the following portals. GBR TV launched its new TV show called A New Thing, which is taken from the book of Isaiah 43, verse 18 to 19, which seeks to educate, inform, challenge, empower and inspire you to live your best life in line with God's purpose. A New Thing features a number of experts in various fields covering diverse topics which cover the holistic development of people. Topics about leadership, intellectual development, economics and finance, health and wellness, politics and governance, to name a few, are covered. The show also features country roundtables where governments and state-owned agencies are offered a platform to present their trade and investment opportunities in various nations. A new thing is GVR in our home, the thought in our home, 
learning in our home. A new thing is broadcast every week on TBN in Africa, Redemption Television Ministry, Swazi TV, One Gospel and many other television broadcasting networks. The show is also available on radio stations such as Radio Pulpit, Voice of the Church and the Swazi Broadcasting and Information Services. The show is positioned to grow aggressively to reach as many people around the globe as possible.